Hey guys, thanks for using the links in the description box to shop for all your supplies. Every little bit helps to support making videos. So we're going to use one millimeter cotton rope, a half gallon glass jar, and a medium sized flat rate priority box. So to get started, we're going to measure our anchor cord and it's going to be 65 inches long so measure that cut it and taking a water soluble marker we're going to measure one length of the box and mark that off that's going to show you give you a guide as to where to tie it around the glass jar and we're going to tie it just doing a simple knot Next, measure out eight cords at 60 inches and set those to the side. We're gonna be using those later on in the project. Next, we're going to cut our working cords. And I just grab the tail end with my thumb and hold it as I wrap it around the box. So wrapping fully and completely around the box counts as one, two, three, and so on. You are gonna have 62 when you're complete. I pinch together the ends and you will cut it at one end. Now we will add our strings around the perimeter using a lark's head knot to attach it to the anchor string. So finding the middle point and pinching it there in half, making sure to even up your ends. Going to grab the anchor cord and slide it underneath, pulling up a loop. That creates a loop that you'll then pull through the two tails. Tighten that down, and that creates your lark's head knot. Again, going under the anchor cord, creating that loop, pulling it over, then the two strings through the center, and tighten that down. Continue around until you have a total of 62 lark's head knots. Now we'll add our horizontal half hitch knot. So finding your longest strand from the original anchor cord that you tied. We're going around the entire perimeter of the jar. I filled my jar with water to give me a guideline as to where to line the knots up. So just folding over that anchor and sliding down, making these little what I call donuts and you do that twice per strand folding over going through and pulling down we'll get a closer shot so that you can see that better keeping in mind we're holding our anchor cord horizontally and wrapping that strand around it and pulling down, creating a little donut. And you wrap again, pulling through and sliding the next little donut over. Now that we've come around to the end, we're going to take the very first 
strand cord and make another half hitch knot to close in that gap. And taking those two strands that we just were using and an additional six for a total of eight and then another eight you're gonna have a total of 16 strands and we're going to divide those into two sections so eight each taking the very first strand using that as our anchor we're going to half hitch Here's a closer view doing this on a diagonal. There are other YouTube videos in my channel so that you can see a more detailed instruction on how to do this window as I call them. Finishing up this top right hand side. You can see here you'll have a total of seven with the anchor cord making eight. And we'll move on to the left hand side, grabbing the first strand to be our anchor and attaching half hitch knots on the diagonal. I will put a link in the description box to the tutorial that shows you how to do these windows, these diamonds with the open centers. And dividing our cords again into two sections of eight. We're now going to work on the bottom right hand side of the diamond. So taking the very end cord and holding it down at a diagonal as we work our half hitch knots to create that bottom part of the diamond. Taking the very first cord and wrapping, creating your half hitch knot making sure not to pull too tight so that your strands lay flat. And continue with the very next one.
We're now working on the bottom left hand side of the diamond using that outer cord to create our diagonal line as our anchor, taking that first cord as our first half hitch knot. Being careful not to over tighten, but making sure that your strands are laying nice and flat. We will now connect the bottom of our diamond just using a simple half hitch knot. Taking one of our eight cords that we cut earlier and set aside, they're each 60 inches long. Folding it in half, finding the, the center, we're going to create a simple lark's head knot straight through the center of our diamond. We'll continue that pattern all the way around the jar. You will have a total of eight diamonds. In between the diamonds, we're making alternating square knots. So we're taking two from the right and two from the left in between the diamonds, creating a square knot, which is pinching the two in the center and holding it. I like to make a four to the left and holding that with my finger, taking the far right string, going under and up through that loop, pull it through holding down your two in the center trying to get these all straightened out holding those two pinching those two in the center again and tightening up that's the first half the next half is making your loop your four to the right taking your far left string going under and through that loop and tightening down again that's your square knot To make our next knot, we're gathering two of our strands from that original square knot, and we're going to take the two that are on the right, and two more from the right, and making your square knot. I just kind of eyeball it as I'm tightening it down to make sure my loops look evenly spaced apart.
Now moving on to the next knot in our alternating squares, taking the two left strands from that original square knot and two additional from the left, pinching them in the center, making your four, and going under and through. Now to make our last square knot in this particular pattern. You see we have our square knot on the right and the square knot on the left. Taking two strands from the left knot and two from the right knot and making our square knot. You'll continue to make this alternating square knot pattern in between each diamond all the way around the jar. Moving on to our next step, our twisted cord or spiral. So these two strands in the front are the long strings from our lark's head knot that we tied through the center of that window. We're gonna take the two short ones, pinching them, holding them, those are going to be our center, and making the first half of the square knot, so just making our four loop to the left and tightening that down and continuing on making only the loop, the four loop as I like to call it, to the left. Continuing on all the way to the end, we'll get a close-up shot of how the cord starts twisting. So just go ahead and let it twist and turn your strings around so that they're facing you and continue making just the first half of the square knot. And when we get to the end, I just tie a simple knot, lining it up so that I can cut the strands with the edge of the table, trimming them all the way around, brushing them out, keep them straight, and that's it. Add a candle and enjoy. So thanks so much you guys for watching. It's good to be back. I'll have more tutorials and videos for you. Knitting, crochet, macrame. And more.